Now let's do one more example problem where we need to find the area of some polygon on the coordinate plane. And in this case, we have a rectangle. And again, we're finding its area. So we're finding how much space this rectangle takes up or how much it occupies. And remember that for a rectangle, the area formula is the length of the rectangle L multiplied by the width W. So we need to figure out the length and the width of this rectangle. And maybe we can call this the width or the length, it doesn't really matter. And we can call the other one the length. So to find these lengths, we could use the distance formula or we can just break these down into triangles and then use the Pythagorean theorem. So either way works. And let's just break it down into triangles and then we can count the side lengths. So we're just dropping a perpendicular line and a horizontal line. And this is at a right angle. So notice that this is length one here and this is one, two, three, four. So to find L, we know that the Pythagorean theorem is just a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared and a and b are the legs of the triangle, the right triangle and C is the hypotenuse. So if we plug all those in, we get that one squared plus four squared is equal to L squared. So one squared is one, four squared is 16. So we get one plus 16 is L squared. So that's 17. And to find L, we're gonna take a square root of each side. So L is the square root of 17. And likewise, we're gonna do the same thing for our width. We're going to decompose this into a right triangle and just count the side lengths. This looks to be length two. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we can now use the Pythagorean theorem because this is a right angle. So we have that W squared is eight squared plus two squared. And eight squared, that's 64, two squared is four, so we get 68. And we're gonna take a square root of each side. So W is the square root of 68. And let's simplify this. Since 68 is really just four multiplied by 17. So we simplify this so that we can rewrite it with smaller numbers. And we can separate this into two square roots. So this is root four times root 17 and the square root of four, that's just two. So we get twice the square root of 17. And from here, since we know the length and the width, we can actually compute the area. So we'll just say the area is the length, which is the square root of 17 multiplied by the width, which is twice the square root of 17. And since we have two square roots multiplied together, and I'll just put the two out in front, we can combine them under one square root where we now have a product. And this is 17 squared. And we know that when we take the square root of something squared, they're gonna cancel each other out. And so we just get twice 17, which is 34. Of course, you can double check this with your calculator, but when you have a perfect square under your square root, it will cancel with the square root and you just get whatever that base number is. So in this case, the area of this rectangle, how much space it takes up is 34 square units. Now, another approach you can take for this is to notice that you can build a big rectangle around this. And you can find the area of this rectangle by just counting the pieces. This is six wide and nine tall, and then subtract the area of each of these smaller triangles. So that might be a quicker approach. It just kind of depends how you feel about that. Since you have to find the area of four different triangles and you might end up counting more, but you avoid needing to use the Pythagorean theorem. So both of those approaches are valid and they will get the same answer. And maybe you wanna do this second approach to even check your work. So I will leave that as an exercise.